My name is Marcello Piccolo. I'm a CNR researcher working at the Institute of Applied Physics Nello Carrara in Florence. I'm a geologist and I've been working in the analysis for our conservation for 25 years. Now we are in base in Florence and here we are in a private uh, conservation lab and we are acquiring some images and data with a hyperspectral camera. We are going to measure a painting by an Austrian artist and it was made in 1857 and we are doing this to check the composition of the material used by the artist and to see if they are consistent with materials used at that time. So please Lorenzo, if you can start the measurement. Hyperspectral imaging technique is a very powerful methodology because uh, we can have at the same time good documentation of the artworks in the different uh, spectral region, visible, infrared, UV. At the same time, from those images, it is possible to identify the materials, the constituent of the artworks, and once we identify them, we can also map their uh, distribution over the artworks using the hyperspectral approach. So it's a twofold technique in the way that it could provide useful information as a documentation, but at the same time can map uh, the distribution of materials over the surface. So it's a very um, complete technology. And particularly the blue mantle of the angel on the left, it was made with uh, cobalt blue, which was one of the most important blue pigments at that time. What we need now to acquire is uh, another set of data at a closer look for checking some of the details of the painting. And with this new set of data, it's possible to look at all the different shades of the same mantle and to confirm the presence of the materials of the pigment used by the artist. Hyperspectral imaging technique is uh, widely used in different fields and basically starting from remote sensing up to industrial applications, uh, quality control, and forensic uh, medical uh, applications, something like that. So having a device like uh, the, the Speccim IQ, which is now available, would be very useful for um, having some you know, compact devices to be used for, for any specific uh, field of applications in, in more or less in any, in any environment.